Walker County near Carbon Hill and back toward Fayette County. Several homes damaged and even some people injured as well. Once again, we're talking about Calhoun and Talladega County. This has been a 42 Daily News Weather Bulletin. And the storms that rotate are the ones that do produce tornadoes. We've had numerous reports of tornadoes across much part, many parts of Alabama during the night tonight. We've unfortunately had lots of property damage and injuries across northern and western Alabama as this line of storms has come through. So you really need to take this very seriously in Jefferson County. Anywhere basically along into the south of Interstate 59, you really need to be in a place of safety right now. We're talking about getting to the lowest floor of the building you're in, getting away from any outside walls, windows, or doors, and you really need to protect your head with something like a pillow or a cushion or something like on the west side of Gadsden here in Etowah County. Zooming in a little bit closer, there's a Tala, Reese City, Rainbow City, Southside, Glencoe. All these areas are in the path of this possible tornado, which is in effect until 1130. Of course, one of the bigger stories still tonight continues to be this potential tornado down here in southern Jefferson County. Still looking uh, very nice there as far as the inflow and outflow with this storm moving off to these. So Vestavia Hills, you're talking about Inverness, uh, Hoover. The Hoover Med is down here. Uh, Highway 459 also moving off to the east. Vestavia Hills, this could be very close to Mountain Brook and 280 as well over the next, say, 15 minutes or so. Uh, downtown Birmingham, most likely here to see some very heavy rain. I know around Homewood right now. Woodstock is here in northern Bibb County, and this one is moving off to the east and could be near Vance here near the Mercedes plant there uh, in eastern Tuscaloosa County. That one should be expiring here in the next 15 minutes. Let's take a look at this other one here, the one over southern Jefferson County. This is a very highly populated area, so once again, you want to get inside to an interior room, a basement, um, away from any windows, a bathroom, something like that. Again, the community of Shannon is there, um, and Hoover, Vestavia Hills, and again, moving off to the east, they are in the main area as far as the potential tornado here in southern Jefferson County. Now, let's head back over to Tim Coleman uh, at the weather wall. Okay, thanks, Ben. Uh, we're looking at lots of tornado warnings around Alabama. We've had counties under tornado warnings almost continuously since about 6 o'clock tonight. The only evidence of rotation in here, so a tornado could be already on the ground or one could appear at any time. So if you're in Jefferson County, go to a safe place immediately. We'll be back after this. Um, Alan, thanks for joining us tonight. Right now, I understand that you are at a level two crisis weather monitoring. Can you tell our audience what that means? Yes, Bonnie. That means we've got our uh, operations type people in here, fire, law enforcement, and public works, and also some of the EMA staff monitoring the weather conditions. Again, this is, it looks like a very serious storm moving through the area. We advise all people pay very close attention to the news media and take appropriate action. Right now, we're under a tornado warning until 11:15. Uh, Everybody, especially in the southern part of the county, should be in their tornado uh, plan right now. Alan, I know that the warning hasn't been issued for that long of a period of time, but have you had any reports of damage in Jefferson County at all? Right now we have a, a house that's struck by lightning in West Jefferson, and there were some trees down in the other part with a, uh, involving a car in some of the western parts of the county at this time. We're still getting reports in to see how much damage our law enforcement, our public works, and fire people are calling all the other Departments and agencies around the county to see about damage reports. All right. Well, Alan, thank you very much for joining us tonight. I know that this is a very busy night for you as it, uh, as it is for us as well. This is a 42 Daily News Weather Bulletin. Okay, keeping you up to date on the severe thunderstorm morning now in effect for western Jefferson County. You can see the, the hook right here, uh, right around Bessemer, Lipscomb, also Hueytown. This storm is very quickly moving off to the east. A very highly populated area here around Hoover, up toward Vestavia Hills. Highway 150 runs down here. We have the, the Hoover, uh, the Galleria's down here, the Hoover Met as well. So once again, if you're in southern Jefferson County, find a safe place immediately. Get into a uh, basement away from any windows as well. Let's head back to Tuscaloosa County and show you what's going on there. A new warning in effect for southern Tuscaloosa County. That's in effect until 1115 for another 30 minutes. So it looks like this, this storm down in here, it looks like there's somewhat of some minor rotation here in southwestern Tuscaloosa County near Duncanville. Duncanville is down here on the southeast side. You can see there by the uh, storm relative uh, velocities there, the spin potential here on the southeast side of Tuscaloosa. This one also moving off to the east at about 40 miles per hour. If it continues in this general 
location. It could travel right along 2059. Vance is out here. The Mercedes plant is out here. Also, uh, northern Bibb County, Woodstock is here as well. So, once again, this is Interstate 459. Birmingham downtown, it's raining really hard right now. Maybe some lightning, maybe a little bit of uh, hail here along Highway 78, Arkadelphia Road going up this way. But here's the potential tornado right there near Bessemer moving off these. So Vestavia Hills, you're talking about Mountain Brook, Highway 280. Keep an eye on this one because if the storm continues in this direction and if it doesn't lose its intensity, it could remain its, uh, keep its rotation here as it moves through southern Jefferson County and maybe even perhaps northern Shelby County as well. It's just something we're going to have to watch. Let's go back to our other source and show you the watch has been extended until 5 o'clock this morning, anywhere along and south of Interstate 59, you are under the gun for the potential for more rotating thunderstorms. They, again, it could produce some tornadoes anywhere north and west of here, just some light rain for the rest of this evening. We will keep you up to date, not only through the rest of this newscast, but also through the night as well. We'll head back over to Bonnie.